Okay, in this lesson, we want to talk about the force field. That it's, uh, I think it's not very useful, but you can test it and find its usage. For example, we have a bone structure here. We want to add a physics to that. What can I do? You can right click and uh, group them with selection. You have to give it in a folder. And that's it. Double click on a folder. Don't forget to folder enabled physics. It's enabled all of the physics that are below that or <clears throat> inside of that folder. It's very important. In that folder, we can create another object vector. That's we bring it down. Oops. Make the bone up. This is a layer. <clears throat> this is our layer. I create a simple water, for example, on it. Simple water. Or anything that you want. For example, I want to um, this structure fall down to the water and it's dancing in the water. This field force doing like that. Let's select that and uh, create a simple water here. And it becomes all field force. It's in, yeah, it's make sure that's inside of that. First, you have to go to the physics and non uh, moving objects. Everything below is turning off except the field force. You can <clears throat> activate force field. It means it's, it's force the physics objects that falling down in, in it in this direction. You can force magnitudes for more power and it's okay. And let's test it. As you can see, it acts like this. It's it, this object want to fall down, but this object that has none movement and it's in position and the active force field, it's forcing a field like a wind flowing in that direction and does not allow that object falling down and it's dancing like this. This is a field that are forcing the up the physics objects that come in their fields forcing them up or any direction that you choose in fifth force here we choose in this direction in good power that's it hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.